So I've just arrived at the Ellen Town. This hotel looks so nice. Okay guys, so my room isn't ready till like half one, which I'm really annoyed about. I just landed in Berlin, and so far everything just seems really quiet and cool, but um, I'm actually really still tired. Oh my god, is that Zara? Ooh. Oh my god, it's actually really central. Hey guys! Whoops, this is me, it's me. So I'm just gonna give you a tour of the beautiful Ellington Hotel. And this is the garden just outside. I haven't been down there yet. I might go down in a bit actually, whoops. I might go down in a bit, there's like a little bed there and like some sundown chairs. And this is that beautiful view, let me go back. Sorry, I've got my close lens up. So that's the big beautiful window. So there, Kenny's just folks in. There is the mirror, the sink. You've got all your toiletries there and a store which is perfect to do your makeup on. And what I really love here, so you've got the bath and then you've got the shower. But then you can also see outside the window, we have the shower, so it's all open plan, super nice. Um, you've got the toilet in there, standard. You've got, that's what I love about this hotel, you've got loads of mirrors. So you've got loads of mirrors there, like a big one. Then you have your safe, then my clothes, then you've got like a little mini bar here. I'm gonna fill it up. So a Red Bull, alcohol. The mini bar is quite expensive, but obviously every hotel mini bar is always expensive. You get a glass of water, there's my MAC foundation. I just love how it's got a big beautiful window and I've got loads of um, imagery of like, I think there's like loads of like jazz musicians and like pianists and I've got like loads of like um, jazz artists down there in the lounge but I'll give you a tour of that later. And the bed's really big, simple white, it's my tripod. I was gonna do some filming but I'm not sure, I'm super tired. There's some more imagery there. This room is just so cute. I'm in a deluxe room. But if you ever come to Berlin, try this hotel out. It's just so nice. So, so cute. And it's big high ceilings. And the view is just so stunning. Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube page. Hi. As you guys know, if you follow me on Snapchat, sorry if I look really tired, my eyebrows are tweezed. I went on a really last minute trip to Berlin. I was supposed to go with a friend. Can you see my beautiful surroundings? Like, why can't my room back be like this at home? Like, I actually love a white background and white sheet, but because I'm of a dark complexion, I always wear makeup, it just wouldn't stay white, you know what I mean? But having white is cute for two days or three, okay? So um, I came to Berlin yesterday. Oh my God, I'm just so tired. I'm staying at the beautiful Ellington Hotel. Um, it's really close to everything in the center and everything. I'm not even sure how to pronounce the area or the center because you know I don't speak German, so I'm not even gonna try to embarrass myself, you know? So um, I got here yesterday. Um, what did I do? Okay, I got here for about, you know what? I had this planned. Few, a few weeks back, but I was supposed to go with a friend and he said he couldn't come. And then I was supposed to go with someone else and then that flopped. So I thought, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna come by myself. And you guys know I traveled by myself. Um, I went to Mykonos by myself, I went to Brussels. So this would be the third time going away by myself. And I'm not sure what it is, but I just find it really therapeutic. 
um, I feel like when you're going on holiday with like two or three more people, you're always making plans where to go and what to do and what time to wake up. And being here has really, because I've just been really stressed and I've had a few things going on back home and I think traveling alone really just makes you forget about certain things. Not that you want to forget it, it takes your mind off it. And I went out last night, I just did everything like, uh, what, did, what did I do? I went straight around the center, I didn't go shopping, I didn't buy any makeup because I thought, what's the point of coming here just to buy things that I can buy at home? Like I went to Zara, I sent some cute, cute bits, but I thought I'm gonna get them home because like, I'm sure it's a bit more expensive here, because the euro just confuses me, you know, like, oh, child, I'm not even about that exchange rate, but anyway, um, I just came here to relax really. I didn't want to do too much and like stress myself out. I was gonna go on a bus tour today, but I didn't actually end up going because I actually don't have the patience. I've been on bus tours before and I actually have been to Blimmer it's not my first time. Um, well, I, I can't listen to my first time because when I went a few years ago, I was only like 20 or 21 and I didn't get to experience Berlin the way I wanted to because I wasn't by myself. I was with five more people and I was staying in a hostel and it just wasn't cute. But um, when I got here yesterday, I went around the city centre. Um, what did I do yesterday? Yeah, I got something to eat. I got, oh, I got here, I was so tired. I'm so tired today because of, 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 I'm running on two hours sleep. But in anyway, my hotel wasn't ready till, it wasn't really ready till two, two or three. But the woman was so amazing that um, she checked me in at 12. And then I slept for a few hours. Got ready, I checked out some of the gate areas. Um, there wasn't really much going on. Like, um, everyone in the area is quite a bit older than me, which isn't an issue. It's just that um, everything's really spread out and it's really expensive because, you know the Uber here? Yeah, they don't even have a normal Uber. The Uber is just a standard taxi Uber. What's the point of having Uber if you're just gonna charge a taxi fare for anyway? Go back. But anyway, um, yeah, so taxis are really expensive. They're not expensive, it's just in Euros they're really expensive. But um, I've got taxis here and there. I've got a taxi to this area where I got recommended by someone in the Axel Hotel. And I went there and it wasn't even that good. Like, I couldn't find where I was going, so I was like, like, loud this. And I went to some bar, I can't what it was called, and I ended up meeting a friend who knew a other friend from London. And then I ended up going to Berkheim. Um, Berkheim is this club, if you search on Google, like I'll put the link down below, you'll know about Berkheim. It's supposed to be one of the hardest clubs to get into in the world. I've actually been into this club before, but as I said, I, I went, when I first came to Blue when I was like 20, and I didn't experience it that well. Like I was with people who, not necessarily that I'm not friends with now, but like it was just a different level. I was in uni, I didn't have that much money, you know what I mean? We stayed in the hostel and I didn't really know what was going on really back then as I do now. But anyway, um, what was I saying? You went to Berkheim, I was so scared because the queue, when I got the queue was not that big. And then um, like these two girls behind me, cause um, um, the people that I were with, they were like, oh let's split up because we're all getting together. And these two girls were like American, they're like, oh my God, oh my God. And they had, I think they were from like LA, they were like, oh my god, I hope we get in. I was like, child, I'm not even trying to speak to you because I don't want them to think we're together, then, then I'm not gonna get in. I was just like, girl, no, I was trying to talk to them, I was like, girl, man, like, I need to get in, like, I'm, I don't know. The girls were, I feel like, I Googled how to get in, and like, you, apparently you have to wear all black, and like, you can't look at the bouncer directly in the eye. It's just crazy, but I feel like that's just, like, hocus pocus, it's not actually true. I feel like, some people that get rejected look, look quite cool, some people that get in look quite basic, so it's not bad about being a basic bitch or being like um, a bad bitch, it's just about if they don't like the look of you, if they don't like something you've got on, or don't like the crowd you're with, you ain't getting in bitch. But anyway, I was there and then I was there, I was looking cute, I was wearing like my all black two piece, shorts, my Louboutin, you know, I was looking fly, I was definitely a one bad bitch in sight. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bouncer was like one, and I was like, oh, God, please don't, please don't think I'm with these bitches behind me. So um, the bouncer was like, yeah, come in. So I was like, oh my God. So when they're coming now, 
when they come in, like they search your phone and then they get these blue stickers and put them on your phone, the front and the back, because you're not allowed to take pictures in there. If you find taking pictures, you'll get kicked out and you will be banned. And the club is good, it depends what music you like. If you like techno and like house, it's really good, but it is very intense. And the club is insane. Like, it's probably one of the maddest clubs I've ever been to in my life, actually. Definitely. And that's after Circuit Festival. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say I came to Berlin just to have a short trip, trip break, a short break away, a short break, a short weekend break away. And yeah, I'm staying in the amazing Ellington Hotel. This room is actually insane. Um, you'll see my vlog in this video. Um, the service here has been ridiculous. I'm sure staying here for longer actually. Um, the room is gorgeous. You'll see the pictures on my blog, which is www.theplasticboy.com. And I just can't say anything, like, I just can't get over this room. I wish I had an apartment like this. It's like, it's like perfect. Um, there's a garden just up there. The lighting is like, dang. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh. I can't even explain the lighting. It's just like A1 though, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I do want to start doing more trips like this and like taking short weekend breaks away because I feel like traveling is like, I can't want really to explain what it is to me. It's like a different level of currency. I feel like when you get money, it can easily go. But when you've some, when you been traveling somewhere, that's something you're always gonna remember. And I feel like I'm always gonna remember this trip because I've seen so much stuff and it's been so nice. And Berlin is easy to get around. Um, to be fair, I don't really like catching public transport, so that's why I failed. But um, yeah, it's my last day here. And it's just been really nice really and um yeah um the makeup brands i have here are the same over the k mac um charlotte tilbury or so I, I couldn't really get anything that was popping but um i've got a few makeup tutorials coming up and a few lipstick reviews they'll be up with you this week and um, make sure you follow me on instagram for up-to-date pictures and i hope you guys have a good day bye Hey guys, I'm literally just ready. I'm vlogging on my rolling camera. Um, I show you my outfit, I'm wearing this. It's probably not the best camera to vlog with, but I'm wearing this like a black two piece by Mass Branded. Um, my room is like really messy at the moment, but I'm gonna give you a full room tour when my room's clean tomorrow. I've even got my camera out there because I'm gonna be making a video. Um, I'm heading out now just to go to a few bars. Um, hopefully the night's really good, but um, I'll check with you guys tomorrow because that's when we do all my vlogging and my hotel review. So I'll see you guys soon. So I'm just in the hotel. It's so nice. The decor, the decoration, it's just stunning. Okay, this is the main dining room. So guys, this is the hotel's most beautiful outdoor lounge area. Um, you can see they've got like a bed there that's behind this plant. I've got a bed there. And you can have drinks and it's really stunning. My room was up there. And it's all white and beautiful. You can see through the, oh sorry, this is just a gym. Someone was in there, so I couldn't show you it because it would look really weird. But the gym is through there. This hotel is actually stunning. I can't believe it's my last day. Hey guys, I'm basically just on my way to Apiano. I'm so hungry. Excuse me, I've got no makeup on, I've had like two hours sleep. I'm literally 
I put on the two piece by preview, which we're walking down now. I'm really like, um, kind of sad it's my last at night, but um, yeah. So I'm just going to wait for that dog. Hug. I'm using a rolly camera by the way, it's like small. The quality isn't great, but you know. Where's that piano? It's down there. Okay, the roads in Berlin are literally nuts, like, the lights are only for like, five minutes, I mean five seconds, so... <clears throat> okay, so it's my last night in Ellington, it's just glowing here, can you see it there? Ellington Hotel, <clears throat> let's literally go into my room. <sighs> literally just got a KFC trying to be healthy but it's my last night so oh wow I really enjoy Berlin like it's been so fun I definitely want to come up for longer so I can do more stuff but I'm just super tired right now you know just be like and things really hard you know especially when you don't know what to set in so I've arrived I'm at the Ellington How cute is this camera though? So cute. 